Hey, and welcome to The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs Edition. Today, I'm being joined by one of my dogs, Cujo. He's the St. Bernard, and today, we're going to be trying to recreate Cooj in the game. So this recording just got a little bit more awkward. Koo just decided to sit underneath me during this video. It's supposed to be by my side all nice, but he's decided to, to just be under my feet. So yeah, here's me in the game. We've created a little character just for the for the purpose of the video. So, so I might be doing my other pets. Obviously, we've got Lily and Mali, our two other dogs, and we've got the three cats. We've got Church, Ollie, and Willow. If you guys want me to create any more of my pets, then let me know. I know we'll do, but let's see how this first one goes. So if we click down at the menu here, you can see a little paw print, and then we get two options. Actually, we get three options. We get, you can either create a dog, a cat, or we can do a mixed breed, which is quite cool. So we're gonna click add dog today. So they've put in quite a few breeds. We can actually search for breeds. Now, I know that St. Bernard's are in this. I checked before the video just so that uh, we wouldn't get any awkwardness, but if we type in St. As you can see, the St. Bernard pops up. We get two, we get two coat options, actually. We get the black and the white. Yeah, oh, look, look, I've said St. Bernard. Look, you see it now. Hello, mate. So, look, we get the black and the white, or we get Cooja's colour, which is, I don't know, it's like a tricolour. It's like brown, mostly white, and a little bit of black, which Coos has. It's got, like, a black head. I don't know if you can see, because my mic's in the way, but, look, it's got a black head. And then it's got, like, brown and white coat, so... Look, it's you on screen. You're more handsome than that, though. That's a bit of a weird one. Right, so we have two of the main options, which are getting like most Sims, and that is to be really strong and buff. <laughs> are you buff? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's buff. Oh, oh there's like a, a fat one. You can be fat or thin. Cooch, Cooch, what are you? You're nicely, you're nicely weighted. He's not like fat. He's kind of. He's kind of like a thinnish dog. He's just like a normal size. You're not overly muscly, are you? You're only still a baby, so... I just say, like, normal muscle. There we go. So as we can rotate, we can see he's got a big bushy tail. His face is... He's got quite an old face, though. And this is where we can kind of play around with things. We can change the head shape. We can make him a fat head, a thin head. Kuja's got kind of like a thin head, so we're going to keep him as that. His jowls aren't really that big. Can we can we do anything with the jowls? Let's try. Let's see if we can click on them. Oh, we can make them make his snout like really fat or thin. Um, What do you think of that? He seems to be interested. Oh, he's interested in my microphone. <laughs> um, and then we got the ears. Let's start on the head, actually. So these are the different head shapes we can get. What? Cooj! Do you want to be part boxer? What is... What is this? What is this? You can have a... Oh, this is probably for like a mixed breed, I'm guessing. Because these... This is just don't look right. <laughs> that looks like Lily Cross with, with Kuja. It's like a St. Bernard Cross. All right, we're going to... We're going to keep, obviously, the St. Bernard look. If I can find it again, there it is. Uh, we could change the ear. So again, these are just for crosses. We could change the nose. We can give you like a cute nose. Do you want a cute nose for once? It doesn't want a cute nose. I think we're just gonna stick with his normal nose. There we go. I think that that's a, that looks about right. I can't really see because he's. <gasps> oh, we can get like patches on his nose. We can get like pink bits. Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't realize they'd put this much detail into it. All right, Cooch. I need to look at you, mate. Let's have a look. Um, you've got a pink bit on top of your nose, but I'm just gonna go for the black there. The eyes, Cooge, what's your eye color? Have a look. You have brown eyes. He's got brown eyes. Okay, there we go. That's Cooge. Hmm, we can actually paint him. What's, what's this paint mode? <gasps> what? What is this? Oh, Cooge, you could be as. Do you want to be like a zebra? We can make him a zebra. Do you want, do you want like fancy face paint and stuff? <laughs> I, got, I can't believe you can actually do this. You can put, like, face paint on. All right. We'll make you look normal. Let's get you to sit down. <laughs> um, He's got kind of, like, a smallish head for his body, I'd say. Or, like, a... No, he's, I don't know. He's kind of, like, a medium size. Let's try and turn it a little bit. He's not that fluffy. That is some serious floof. Is that the minimum fluff you can actually get? <laughs> <laughs> that is so fluffy. This oh there we go. We can make him like really fat, really lean. Ah. Now his his neck's not that big, and he's it's quite a fluffy cut. I don't know if you could change like 
how fluffy his coat is. Let's just have a look around. Cooge, I'm trying to make you fluffy, mate. I'm trying to get the floof there. I'm trying to put forth the fluff. Do you know what I mean? I really am trying. I need to make his neck a little... Oh. <laughs> he's, not, he's not got a giraffe neck. I'm trying to make him look fluffy without looking fat. It's quite a hard job. But uh, I think I'm doing well. I think I'm doing all right. Hey, we're back. Look, I haven't really made much progress, mate. What do you think? Do you like it? It's there, on screen. Do you like what you see? And uh, you want you want more fluff, don't you? Like, well, I've got no fluff on screen, Dad. I'm so fluffy in real life. I'm trying, mate. I'm trying my best. It's, it's this game, all right? It's this game. Would you like any sort of patterns? Because we can give you, like... I'll make this, like, realistic. Like, Cooch likes to get muddy. So I think what I might do is I just might make him, like, a, a little bit muddy around his paws. He's got, like, brown bits. Oh, this is actually quite good. If we can get the perfect colour for his pattern, we can, we can actually, like, make all the stuff that he has on his, uh, on this little cooch here. We can make all his markings on screen. So, Cooch's brown actually goes all the way down the back of his legs. I'm going to use this tool here because it's quite good. Right, let's get him to stand so we can actually see what we're doing. So... Down his back right leg, as you can see, he has got... It kind of goes all the way down like so. There we go. We're going to use this one, actually, for his coat because it's actually such a nice color. It's such a cool color. So we're going to paint all this round here. All right, I don't think that's looking too bad. His right-hand side's looking pretty good. He does... Could you lift your head up, mate? Lift your head up. Nice, thank you. Right, it needs a little bit here. Like so. Oh, no, we've put it on his face. Okay, I'm liking the look of this so far. As I say, it does need to be a, a little bit fluffier, but I think we get in there. I think we're doing a pretty good job. It needs a couple of spots. He's got, like, tiny little spots on his legs. So we need to get, like, the this black, and we need it really small, and we need to put some dots on his legs like that. They're a little bit fairer than that. So we'll do that again. There we go. And he's actually got like black spots on his toes and stuff. So there we go. Oh, <laughs> that's not looking too bad. And then his tail is, uh, it's got quite a lot of brown on it as well. So if we get the brush size like this. Oh no, where's my color gone? Okay, I need to borrow this color. Okay, we're going to fix this. We just need this tool. And then we should be good. There we go. We got the color back. So it's on his tail like this. Uh, this side's okay. We need to do the top of his neck and round here. But I really like this color. This color is definitely cooge. <laughs> he does not look impressed. We need to bring this white bit back. Cooge, can I see your face? Thank you. Um. Um. Cooch, I made you a little bit, I made your head a little bit bigger than it's supposed to be. And he's got dots on his nose. How can I forget about the dots on his nose? He's got like little black dots on his nose. Okay. Okay, we need to do this. How do I see from above? Okay, great. <laughs> that works. That actually works. He's laid down on screen. Just like real life. Not like that. That's a little bit weird, but cooch. Okay, he's got them. Okay, I've given him, like, symmetrical dots. You can earn it. Have I got it in symmetry? Okay, I've got him in symmetry mode. That's why. Okay, we'll turn symmetry mode off. There we go. And then he needs... It's, like, four dots, like, here. This is pretty cool. I mean, if I was going at this prop fair, I reckon I could make a pretty convincing Kuja. I just wish they had the rough cut. Like, this is a shortcut, St. Bernard. Kuja's a lot fluffier, so it's kind of hard to, to get the fluffiness across. He does have a bit of a darker... Head. This is a bit more darker up here. So I'm just going to make this a little bit darker. We're going to go for a bit of a bigger brush size here. It's not looking too bad. <laughs> I don't know what I've done to his face. I think I've made his face way too dark. Like, it just looks terribly dark. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. It looks so bad. It doesn't look like fur. It looks like face paint. Okay. Cooge, I'm sorry, mate. I'm so sorry. I am very sorry. Let's get him to sit. Let's see what he looks like. <laughs> Look at that. What is that? No, I've got to undo it. I've got, I've got to undo it. It looks terrible. It looks like he's wearing a toupee or something. 
Oh, mate, I'm so sorry. I don't think he's right happy with me. Oh, mate. Look what did I do to you? Kuja, come here. I think I'm gonna give Kuj the reveal. <laughs> what have I done to his face? <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. What do you think? Do you like it or not? <laughs> I'm sorry. I made you look awful. Oh man, I'll try. I'll try and fix you. Okay, I'll try and fix you. The only thing that could probably fix this is if I just. I don't know. I'm gonna try. There. That that helps. And then if I just go for the this little black bit again, then we should be done. You know what? I think I'm pretty happy with that, guys. I think what we're gonna do is we will. Well, we, well, we think we'll, we've done this. I think we've actually done this. So, how do we get out of this mode? How do we How do we finish? How do we put the tick on Kuja? I haven't done much, to be honest. I feel like I haven't done that much. But you know what? I've made our own little personal touches on it. Hello, my name is Kuja. Bernard. There we go. All right. <laughs> He's still just stood there like... Eh. Um... Coat pattern, we've already done that game. We've already made it amazing. There was a few other things like breed's body. We've picked the breeds, we've picked the body. Tails, they're, they're nowhere near fluffy enough for Cooge at all. They are just nowhere near fluffy enough. So these won't do. There's colors and patterns. But why would we want to pick a default one? We've made Cooge. We've, we've made our own dog. This is fair. This is where it's going to actually tell me it's a rough coat, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I, I could have made him like that. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> oh man, these are these are these are pretty good. These are pretty good. That that is, that's that's pretty perfect. These are like for poodles and stuff. <laughs> Wait, how do I get back to the one that I did? There we go. These are really weird default ones. Okay, we got pet clothing. <gasps> we could give him a fancy bow tie. He actually does wear a bow tie in real life. So, that is pretty amazing right there. We could also... Oh, look at that! We can wear him... <laughs> we, give, we give him a fancy bow tie. Yes! This looks this looks amazing. I'm so happy with this. Right, what else we got? We have got this little palette tool, which is painting the dog, which we've already done. Now we need to give him some traits. So, we've got couch potato, which is the default setting for a St. Bernard, which... You know, it's, it's pretty understandable. Uh, we've got another trait here. So we've got adventurous, aggressive, friendly, gluten, hairy. Definitely hairy. Hunter, independent, jumpy, loyal, playful, sloth, smart, stubborn. Stubborn's the one. So we've got couch potato, hairy, and stubborn. These dogs like me told what to do. Scolding them doesn't do much to change their misbehavior. <laughs> but you can try begging them to stop. Kujo's protesting anyway. So, guys, that is, that's pretty good. I'm so happy with that. I'm so happy with the traits. Look, it's me and Kuj. Let's let's do this. Let's 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 see it. I want to see it. I want to go. Can we go? How do we go? All right. So now we're gonna click in game because I want to see what me and Kuj looks like. <laughs> I want to see if he looks as fabulous as he does in the creator. Hey! There is me and Kuja. Ah, this is amazing. This is so good. What can he do if we click on him? S Sim, what? Simstagram pet. We can actually Instagram in this. Oh my goodness. We can actually be a camera and Instagram. That is ridiculously cool. Okay, we won't do that just yet. We're going to me make him do stuff. So we can teach him how to fetch. Requires having the ball in the inventory. We can praise, play, play, uh, pet, hug, and get to know. Get to know? Unwind. I like how there's one called relax and unwind on a couch. A comfy seat is required to purchase a large couch. You even need a large couch for a St. Bernard. It's just like real life. So we're going to hug him in the game. And I'm going to get Cooge on camera. And we're going to end the video for today, guys. Hopefully, you have enjoyed. If you do want me to create any more of my pets, then please let me know. If you enjoyed, please leave a like on the video. Kuja, come on, mate. Come on. Oh. Right, guys. That's it from me and Kuja. Hopefully, you have enjoyed. Kuja, no. He's gone now. He didn't want to end the video. Bye, Kuja. Thanks for joining.
But yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope you have enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!